Have you ever wondered what to do when you don't like your art? Or even as far as thinking how to stop hating your art? You're not alone. This is a really shared experience where sometimes we're making something, it doesn't go according to plan, our materials aren't cooperating with us, and we feel stuck or we're just not happy about it. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing an art flip through from a passion project of mine where it went entirely the opposite direction of what I was planning and how I continue to move through that and absolutely love the project now. So I'm going to share some tips and suggestions. So you may not work with photography. You might not be a painter. The materials aren't really what is important here. It's more so about that mindset of being curious with if you have a plan for your artwork and it's not going according to your initial plan or vision, what next can you try? What else can you begin exploring? And I was at the time using Polaroid film. I was photographing dilapidated buildings with graffiti walls, similar to the other video you may have seen. I was creating these little mini paintings. But what I didn't know at the time was that the Polaroid film I was using was outdated and it kept ripping parts of it were having these little tears and so I almost stopped the entire project and then I realized well if it's starting to tear and break through how can I embrace this a little bit more and I began actually melting down the films <laughs> and I pulled away at them these are the multiple layers of film that ripped through the image itself I haven't heard of anyone else ever doing this it's not a practice that was introduced to me. It was something that I simply stumbled across because something I was doing in my practice wasn't working and then I decided to explore it further. So I ended up really loving some of the final results and as a disclaimer, I don't recommend melting down the film. I'm not sure uh, what that did as far as fumes or health or safety. It was largely a discovery process, so I had no idea what the images were going to turn out and look like. There's something about a Polaroid where you don't see the image until it fully develops. It was almost like each piece was then revealed to me as I was making these mini paintings. It's largely a practice of being present with what you're creating and allowing that fluidness to make changes on the fly and to be open to quote unquote failure, to be curious about what that even means when you're making. What is it like to create art simply for the pleasure of doing it? What is it like to make art to fulfill a curiosity? What is it like to make art simply for yourself where it's not something that you're sharing with other people? So there's so many um, questions and discoveries. And what I noticed as well is as I did this and I kept creating, because obviously I have a lot here and I have more I'm not showing, is I started then to see patterns. I started to have motifs. It reminds me of those choose your own adventure books where one decision leads to another and another and you go down a different path and you can always restart the book and choose another adventure. So anybody, if you remember those books, definitely comment below. I'd love to connect with you about that. So I hope you find this inspiring. I'll be sharing more information in future videos as well. So please definitely subscribe if this resonates with you for more.